Hi guys and welcome to episode 10. 10, we're in double figures now guys, which is great. Um, guys, thank you very much for the support for the Langley Lions. Um, we're going to jump straight into the screen here and we are going to show you how the season has gone so far. So, um, we're just on the club information here, but we are now going to go into the top competitions. And as you can see guys, we are currently in the playoff spots. We're in fifth position, we've played 37, won 16, drawn 10 and lost 11. Um, not the best stats, but we're still in the playoffs, which is great. Uh, Kidderminster are confirmed now as playoffs. Uh, they're, the, they're the league leaders at the minute. And also we are, um, we've been knocked out of the FA Cup by Burton. Um, I'm just going to go to the schedule. Just give you a bit of an insight into the Langley Lions so far. Um, and guys as well, I've got a brand new computer and it is fast and good graphics as well. So it's going to be good going forward now. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, the season, you've seen most of the season. We started off really well in the season. Um, we, we, we lost obviously at a pre-season friendly. Then we did really well. We was unbeaten in like nine, is it? Nine or ten. Uh, and then we went down. We were, in the middle of the season, we've been had a few ups and downs. Uh, remember, guys, we are a regen team uh, with a couple of special players, uh, and I'll let you know. I'll tell you the special players quickly for anyone who hasn't seen them. Um, but yeah, as you can see, um, the last on the last episode was was actually the last episode was actually the FA uh, Trophy third round against against Barnet. And uh, we've played quite a lot since. Um, so in the league, we won one nil, won one nil, and won one nil, uh, which was good. And then we drew against Mainstone. Uh, so we had a little unbeaten run going again, as you can see. Uh, but then unfortunately, then um, we drew against Maid Maidstone in the, in the fourth round of the FA Trophy, and then we got beat away because obviously the the replay because uh, it was a nil nil at our at our ground uh, nil nil and uh, we got beat away and then we had a bad result against uh, Boston at home. Um, as you can see, not the best result at all. Uh, Sam McCarthy got on the score sheet there, which is good. Um, and then we had, um, we then we, uh, where where where? Oh, sorry, I've lost, lost track now. And then um, we we had a great result, a three 0 result against at the time third in the league, Chester. Uh, and just check out some of these goals, guys. Um, look at the stats as well. The stats was absolutely fantastic. Um, just going to show you some of these goals as well. Some of these goals was pretty cool, uh, from what I remember anyway. Uh, but again, no Tommy Lilly on the score sheet. Great little one there, but a great little goal there by Will Taylor. Uh, Baggy knocked one in, and that, well, that one really good goal. That was a fumble from the keeper, and then uh, Parter. Great, look at that. Great header in. Great header there. So anyway. Let's get to the next game anyway. Um, so yeah, we had, we had a few good results um, and we're doing well. Like I said, we've only got five games left. We've got uh, three at home and two away. Um, and we've got some pretty tough ones coming up. Gloucester um, and obviously Kidderminster away. Uh, they'll be looking for a win there unless they're already automatically promoted. So anyway, let's play the Gloucester at home game. Um, oh yeah, them, uh, them, them people who don't know who Tommy Lilly is, um, when I started this regen team up, I put my two granddads in it, Tommy Lilly and Sammy McCarthy. Sammy McCarthy at the back and Tommy Lilly up front. Uh, Sammy McCarthy's stats are here. Uh, it's not that good to be fair, you know, Van Ram and North League standard really. A few little high ones in there of course um, for a defender. But Tommy Lilly, like I said, unless you, unless you don't know, is like a, a you know League Two player, uh, shall we say, Van Rama, Van Rama League or League Two player. So um, yeah, very he's had he's had a very good season so far. Just to quickly show you, Tommy Lilly, Van Rama National, thirty six with seventeen goals, um, three assists as well, seven point uh, seven point three rating. English FA Cup, he had a pretty good run as well. Appearances four goals, uh, sorry, appearances five goals four, seven point five rating, which is great. Um, and yeah, he, he just had a really good season. Uh, Forty seven appearances, twenty four goals, fantastic, absolutely buzzing for uh, Tommy Lilly there, my granddad. Uh, let's get to this Gateshead game anyway. It's going to be a good game this one. Um, sure, I'm just going to speed it along slightly as well. But yeah, uh, guys, thank you very much for the support. It's been it's been madness. It's been amazing. I've obviously been busy as well doing designs and stuff as well in in, in my spare time in this lockdown. Uh, I know it's quite tough for people at the minute, um, but there's no better way than playing football manager and trying to get a a team up from uh, Van Ram and North League up to the 
Champions League, hopefully. Um, we're looking to probably do, while this is going through this, I'm looking to probably do probably another three series on this Langley Lions season and then obviously go into series two. Um, so in series one, we're going to be, um, we're going to be probably, yeah, we're going to be probably doing another three of this season. Um, hopefully we get to the playoffs and hopefully we can get promoted straight off. That would be, that would be an absolute uh, amazing achievement. Um, it looks like we are going to make the playoffs, which is good. Um, let's just have a look here very quickly. Tommy the Lit, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Danny Goody, yeah. Danny Goody is still in reserves at the minute. Tommy Lilly wants to work on quickness. Still no improvement, so we need to do that. Um, okay, that's fine. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for the feedback. Uh, on my Discord, it's been great as well. Um, not made any transfer. Well, we, we made some pretty big transfers, uh, certainly within this league as well. I'll just quickly show people as well the transfers that I did do. Um, so a lot of free transfers. I got a lot of free transfers, but I also got a uh, Jack Parter, three point five million, three point five million, three and a half k. Uh, then we got a ten and a half k uh, Festus Arthur from Stockport. Then our biggest signing, David Kasumu, who has a, who's had a pretty good season to be fair. Uh, played thirty five for for Langley Lions. Only scored three, um, just under seven ratings. So he's done okay. He's done okay, but his ratings are really good, and he has got really good potential as well, as you can see. Very good potential, actually. So he's, uh, we need to keep hold of him. Uh, then we've got Josh McDonald, 3.5k. And then we've got uh, Abdullahi Baggy from Weymouth, who's having, who's having a great season, Abdullahi Baggy, actually, at the minute. Fantastic season. So uh, he's doing really well, mate. Look at that in the FA Cup. He was absolutely killing it. Anyway, let's crack him. I'm waffling on here. Waffling on a bit. But, uh, yeah, guys, you can follow the Langley Lions at, uh, at Langley Lions. At, oh, no, at Langley Lions FC. And you can follow me at FMWRX. So it's FM Works in a way, Football Manager Works. Um, but yeah, we've had a pretty good season. And I don't know if you've seen on Twitter as well, but uh, our, one of our midfielders, Solomon Okohe, scored uh, an hat trick and everyone was a free kick top bins. Um, it was crazy, absolute madness. Um, but anyway, let's get to this Gloucester game. Any wonder kids, guys? Let's decline taking part. I'm not going to be making any signs. We've got absolutely zero in the bank uh, we started off with 500k and then reduced that to about 350 uh because of wade bills uh, and stuff like that set to move a month like that oh sorry brad abbott we're getting brad habit on loan from boston uh good player i have actually scouted him so i don't know why it's gone back on that but uh yeah good player he's going to be uh he's going to make a big part until the end of the season uh, that's if he does come i've accepted obviously but it depends sometimes, they do reject it, don't they, these players? Petra Sipindrid, who's our um, sub-striker. We'll have to bring a striker in, or a co can play up front. Guys, any any advice you've got to give me for the Langley Lions? Uh, always what I, oh, I always take on advice. Uh, I've been playing football manager since like two uh, since like nineteen ninety four, uh, when I was nine years old, or championship manager, of course. Um, and yeah, um, but always always happy to take advice. Um, I have got another series as well called The Rovers Return, which is uh, one season, one mission, is to get Blackburn Rovers back into the Premier League. Uh, so go out, go and check that one out as well. I'm not going to handle the briefing because I've, I've done a bit of a back, as I, as I always do anyway, background uh, tactics. Um, and I feel that it's just doing a quick save as well. Um, I'm going to take that automatic save off actually. But because I got a new computer, uh, I went, I've gone from Mac. Well, I've still got my Mac, but uh, my MacBook, sorry. Uh, but I've gone to a uh, Windows now. Um, and uh, hopefully, I'm going to try and stream as well. Uh, that that'll be a that'll be my next step. Is trying to stream and. Um, I have tried, but the internet's been quite poor. But I'm getting a new router tomorrow, uh, and I have upgraded the internet as well. So, um, Shepherd's unhappy about something there. Our goalkeeper. Let's uh, let's just quickly do this. Let's discuss with Shepherd. Broken promise and made. Renew my contract. Okay, let's do it. I'm sorry, I can apologise. That's all. Is that rebuild and work on uh, I got no intention of letting you leave. Not made him very happy there actually, but I'll come back to that later on. Here we go guys, Gloucester at home. Guys, we're still playing in our new kit as well. And as you can see now, I've put the new kit within the 3D game engine as well. Uh, still supporting the NHS, which is uh, good, of course. We're starting to get a lot of familiarity uh, 
graphs in now as well. A lot of uh, good partnerships uh, forming. Familiarity is still good, intensity is still quite. We're going in with this game in balance. Uh, I've done the tactics pre. Uh, I'll just quickly show you what we're going in with. Uh, you can pause it if you want to really look into it. Uh, regroup and counter, which we've been doing pretty well this uh, this season. Oh yeah, of course, baggy. Uh, where are we? Tactics. So yeah, so we've done quite well. Um, baggy, where are we? Where are we? Team instructions. Okay, that's fine. Let's get Baggy out. Baggy's away on international duty. Uh, where are we? Billy Prodo is going in. And he's going to go as a uh, defensive winger. No, he's going to go as a winger support, actually. Yep, still great. Still great uh, familiarity. And let's get to the game, guys. Here we go guys, we are playing a 4-1-3-1-1 or 4-1-3-2 theoretically um, but yeah 4-1-3-1-1 anyway quite happy against that let's give him a good prep talk let's be a bit passionate let's say we um, always go for the bigger one, always go for the bigger thing it always kind of gives a uh, gives a good positive vibe here we go guys I don't know what I've got on actually, I might have it on um, I think we've got it extended, uh, so we'll see. Extended, here we go. Yeah, the graphics are a lot better now. Everything's uh, a lot better, a lot faster. Um, yeah, we're doing, we're doing all right. Ten minutes in, guys. One shot on target. Fifty-four percent, but they're on the break. They whip one in from the corner. Edder away. Comes out to Stewart. Edder away. Comes to Tommy Lilly. Tommy Lee on the ball, speed from Tommy Lee to McDonald. McDonald on the right here. Whips one in, gets a throw in. 13 minutes in here, throw in from Parter. Parter whips over into Tommy Lee, no, it's McDonald. Ooh, unlucky that, very unlucky. Jacob hits one out. McClure, McClure to Mache. Mache back to Brunt. Brunt to Hanks, Hanks to Thomas for Gloucester here. Great pressure here, we're doing great. Just going to tighten up a little bit. Shephev, great ball for, great uh, save from Shephev. McDonald. Loses the ball but then gets back, up to Goss, to Taylor. Taylor passes it through to Tommy Lilly. Tommy Lilly, point blank save from that Jacob. Movember.com there, yeah, I don't know why. On the, on, the, uh, on the advertising board it says Movember. I don't know if, it's, don't know if they can see my uh, mob. Tommy Lilly, yeah, Tommy Lilly. Good tackle that there by Senior for Gloucester. What a tackle that was. Twenty minutes in. Three shots against two on target. We're losing out on possession a little bit. We just need to, just going to demand a little bit more. We're doing well, but demand a bit more. So we just need to tighten up a little bit. Just going to go to, going to go to cautious. Uh, and I'm also going to shoot on sight. Uh, shoot, yeah, shoot on sight, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to re re reduce that tempo slightly. Tommy Lilly is offside. I think Tommy Lilly must be the most offside. We can check that in a minute, probably. Probably the most offside player in the Van Ramen North League this season. Owen McKenna has made a few mistakes today. You know what? Let's take him off at half time. Here we go. Corner from Prado. Prado in. Sammy McCarthy. Free header. Free header. Okay, guys. Half time. Okay. Half time. 0 no, 0. No. Uh, Gloucester are, yeah, second. I thought there was a up there, there top, so we're doing all right. Okay, we're at home. We could do a lot better, but we are again second in the league at the minute. I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to say I'm pleased how things are going so far. We're doing all right. Everyone looks delighted. Let's end that talk and let's crack on. I'm going to make that sub in a minute. Just going to check the. Uh,
probably Jay, Co Jay Gosh is coming off, maybe. Oi McKenna, yeah, Oi McKenna's coming off. The only one, it's going to be tough this actually, because the only what I'll do is I'll put him in for Songwe, and then I will, oh, easy, easy, before you come on, before you come on. Can Sammy McCarthy play there? Not really. Um, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to bring Jimmy Grace on for... No, Arthur's playing well to be fair. Parter. No, let's undo that, let's undo that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Sorry guys, I'm uh, messing up here. There we go. It's a bit all over the place this actually, isn't it? Parter. Sorry guys, this is a... Uh, Parter 3.5, there we go. That took a bit of time, didn't it? Sorry about that. What we're going to do is going to push that. Um, when we're out of position, we're going to push it up a little bit. I don't want, uh, don't want everyone to get caught out. Okay, still no nil. We're doing well. We're still we're kind of on top in a way. 50-50% possession. Not much happening in the game, guys. Um, a few good highlights, but not the not the best to be fair. Probably going to bring Salomon a Koei on now. Koei is a good free kick taker of ours, but um, he's been injured lately, so we're going to bring him off for Josh McDonald. Only 6.5 McDonald, so. Just uh, closing Joe Hanks down a bit. Okay, they're on the attack here, guys. Ten minutes to go. They're on the attack. They whip a ball in. Away from Arthur. Here comes Goss. Goss on the attack. To Tommy Lilly. Speed from Tommy Lilly. Speed all day long. Can he finish? Can he finish? Tommy Lilly. The legend. The legend. That is Tommy Lilly. Get in there. Pure speed from Tommy Lilly there. Pure speed. Look at that. Goss. To Tommy Lilly. Just speed. Pure. I know it's slow motion, obviously, for a replay, but... Whip goes past the senior in no trouble at all. Good defending from senior. Back in from Tommy Lilly. Fantastic. Absolute fantastic. Get in. 1 0 against second in the league. We move up to fifth, guys. Back up to fifth, sorry. Roberts here. Just going to go to defensive. If we have got old position and counter attack, so we can look after that. A great error from McCoy. We should be winning that there. We should be winning that. McCurr keeps it in for Gloucester. Which one in? Oh, they've just missed a sitter there. Allen's just missed a sitter on the line. 84th minute. Just going to uh, encourage him. Give him a bit of encouragement. Probably not going to get another shout in there now. But we're in there half here still. Thomas. Can we grab it off him? We do. Purdue to Sammy McCarthy, Sammy McCarthy to Grace, don't lose it Grace, Purdue to Grace again, and Grace does lose it, what is he doing, whips one in over the top, Mensah, Grace what is he doing, <sighs> dilly dallying on the ball, don't mess about with a ball like that. Throw in Padu. Guys, one all against uh, second in the league. We did well there, scored in the 80th. They obviously come back in the 88th. Of course, they're a good team. Um, what that does, it probably keeps us in fifth position. I'm just going to double check. 
Just going to put on Lucky Buyers, it wasn't the best today. Give the assistant something to say. Yeah, that probably puts us in... Uh, oh no, it does, it does actually drop us down into six. But anyway guys, you can keep up to date with the Langer Lions on Twitter, like I said. Um, I just want to quickly show you, actually, uh, let's see the statistics, actually, of... Um, who, sorry, who's uh, who's doing what in the league. So, uh, where's them offsides? No, actually, I don't know where the offsides are. Um, give me a second, most offsides, where are we? It is there, isn't it, somewhere, most offsides. Most offsides, I'm sure, most of, anyway, here we go. So we've got a uh, farm, uh, yeah, not farm, goals, there we go, goals. 62 to finger. Yeah, we're doing alright. Um, best average possession. We're doing okay in the possession wise. We're doing quite well. Uh, goals, yeah, of course. Um, let's just go to player overviews. Uh, mistakes, there we go. Offsides, that's what I meant. Tommy Lilly, 86 offsides. So he's a massive goal anger. Um, yeah, not the best. Mistakes as well. Oh, we McKenna mistakes. Now, we brought him off in the last game, but shots on target. Tommy Lilly again is up there. Uh, red cards won't do matter about that. Uh, Will Taylor pass completions 88% Will Taylor and David Kasumi as well. So we're doing quite well. We're doing quite well. Um, in regards to the goals, uh, where, 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 where? sorry guys, one second. Uh, play details. It's player goals. Isn't it? play, uh, player overview again. Player overview and goals. Where, where? Offsides. Yeah, that's just confirming that. Uh, goals are. He's kind of took me ages then. Um, yeah, so goals. Tommy Lillet is in second place with 18 league goals. Uh, joint first against Jordan Greenwich. So, uh, from Bradford PA. So, guys, that is episode 10 against Gloucester. It was one of them. It was one of them. We nearly won it, but we didn't, of course. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Follow Langer Lines on Twitter at Langer Lines FC. Follow myself at w uh, FM Works uh, or FMWRX. Um, and, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I will see you on the next episode.